You? You came back? I thought... I, I was sure you were going to... But then I guess... Neither did I. <laughs> oh, you're just too much, you know that? What was it like, being in the Unity? It was... not what I was expecting. Everything stretched out before me, and yet... I was just talking to one person, who knew everything about me. That's not so different from the first people who left Earth. The vastness of the universe was too much, and the unity is infinitely more so. I'm glad to see you again, but don't stay here forever, okay? Don't give up on the opportunity to step into a whole other universe. Yes, you will. We both will. It's who we are. But until then, let's get back out there, shall we? If I can help you with anything, just say the word. I've never felt so... comfortable. It's wonderful to have this kind of stability in my life right now. Good. Any time you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. Of course you can, sweetie. I don't deserve someone as amazing as you. How the hell did I get so lucky? Damn, I was starting to enjoy the conversation. There was a particular someone back in my days with the UC Navy. We actually became quite close at first. But as I rose in rank, I became more interested in my career than what she needed from me. I let her drift away. By the time I realized what was happening, it was too late. She requested a transfer, and I lost touch. Anyway, <laughs> I've dated other men and women at various points in my life, but I'd hardly classify any of them as relationships. As you might have guessed, I tend to concentrate on work and let my personal feelings fall by the wayside. It often drives others away. Very well. Next time, then. You're the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. My soulmate. Good. Any time you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. As far as I'm concerned, things couldn't get any better between us. Good. Any time you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. As we were landing, I picked up a message from Aja. She said to meet us at the park overlooking the ocean. Before we go to the ceremony, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is exactly what you want. No, I suppose I'm worried that I'm forcing you down a path you don't want to travel. Yeah, I know, it's stupid. But you've done so much for me already. I almost feel like you'd marry me just to make me happy, despite your own feelings. Ah, oh, I just melt when I hear you say things like that to me. I love you. And I'm forever thankful to have someone as amazing as you in my life. Now come on, Aja is waiting for us. 
It certainly was nice of you to think of me when sending invitations to my daughter's wedding. It's good to see you too, Mum. I just wish you would have given me more notice. Or maybe some time to get to know your dear partner. I barely even know his name. Yes, good to meet you too, my dear. If only my daughter had thought to introduce us sooner. We could have built more of a rapport before this big day. We'll have plenty of time to talk more later, I'm sure, after the ceremony. Anyway, I'm sorry, Mum. I know how this must all seem to you. This was a sudden decision, and we didn't want to waste any more time. We wanted to keep the ceremony small and involve only the people I care about the most. Sarah, dear, I hope you know that I am delighted to be here, to see you finally get married. It's been a long time coming, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you for coming, Mum. We'll be sure to talk more in a bit. But for now, let's not keep poor Raja waiting. As soon as everyone is present, we will begin. It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. It's wonderful to see you too, Aja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. She's quite special, hmm? God, now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> That's called love, my dear. You better get used to it. Well, I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. And you, you're going to make Sarah quite happy. Coming from you, Aja, that means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Now. Are we ready to begin the ceremony? Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. It's been years since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony. <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy. Not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. I can't imagine a greater honor. And for that, Sarah, I thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way, Aja. Before you present your vows, I'd ask both of you to remember that love is what brought you together today. It is a foundation upon which a structure of trust, faith, and affirmation is built. This structure can be absolutely impenetrable if you both agree to love each other unconditionally with faith, devotion, and acceptance. And most importantly, to allow yourself to be loved. Remember, there are no other bonds more meaningful than the one you are undertaking today. You should cherish this moment and hold it close to your hearts as a reminder of the love you share. If you both are willing to abide by these words, then you can be assured that your lives will be filled with joy and happiness forever. That was beautiful, Asha. Thank you. Did you need a moment, Sarah? No. No, I'm fine. But I wanted to say something before you continue. When we stood beside that waterfall in New Atlantis, you told me that I deserve to be with someone who understands my feelings. 
It was at that very moment I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Your love means everything to me. And I swear to return that love freely and unconditionally without hesitation. This is my solemn pledge to you. From deep within my heart, from deep within my soul, for all eternity. And you? Did you have anything you wanted to say to Sarah? I know it will. I'm going to hold you to that promise. You had a gift, Sarah? Yes. I wanted you to have this as a token of our love. I'm giving this to you as a symbol of the clean break I've made from my past. Oh, it would have been impossible without your help. And for that, I'll be forever grateful. With these promises of affection and these vows you've exchanged, by the power vested in me by the Articles of Constellation, I happily pronounce you life mates. Congratulations! Aja, I don't know what to say. That was... Oh, amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having the ceremony without you. I'm glad everything worked out for you, Sara. I'm only sorry that we waited so long to reach out and contact one another. You better. Otherwise, I'd have to come out of retirement and hunt you down. <laughs> Well, you're both welcome to stay here for as long as you like. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. I wish the both of you a happy and healthy life together. I'll never forget this, Aja. Thank you. Don't worry. I know how you are. I'll try to work on her for you and Sarah. I'm happy to host Abigail here at my home. She's quite charming. Hmm? You have to ask? Look at the place. It's absolute paradise. I can spend my day at the beach, relax with a cool drink and get up on some reading, enjoy the cuisine, whatever my heart desires. I haven't even traveled off world since I arrived. Hell, <laughs> I haven't even bought it a spacecraft. It's so wonderfully liberating. Moving to Paradiso was one of the best decisions I made in my entire life. <laughs> she was a royal pain in the butt. That what she was. Hmm? Hot-headed, impulsive, eager to rush into things without examining the ramifications. Eh? Honestly, a lot like I was at her age. <laughs> Her hunger to explore the void was the most fervent I'd seen in my years at Constellation. There wasn't a single assignment she'd refuse. All in all, though, she was one of the best explorers I've traveled with. And I'd wager that holds true up to today. That woman has a good head on her shoulders. You should count yourself lucky to be a part of her life. I was chair of Constellation for 35 years. I was there for all the low points and all the high. I kept Constellation out of the colony war, made some incredible discoveries, and recruited some of the most amazing explorers in the settled systems. I just finally reached a point where I felt I'd done enough. And it was time to give Saba a chance. And I have no regrets either. If you're expecting controversy or some sort of political reason, I can assure you, it doesn't exist. And between you and me, I'm not getting any younger, eh? <laughs> and this tired old woman wanted to enjoy the sunset of her life on this beautiful world. Take care. If something's on your mind, you can tell me. I feel like 
I'm a better person because of your commitment to gently guide me through life. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. You and my Sarah deserves someone special in her life. I'm glad she found you. It was not quite what I had imagined for Sarah. I thought it would be a grand affair with hundreds of friends and extended family gathered to celebrate. But given her history, I should say I'm not entirely surprised she chose something completely different. <laughs> However, despite that, I must say that this was truly something special. It was quite splendid. Just the two of you, myself, and Aja, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you again for having me. Mostly the physical distance between us. It wasn't intentional, I'll have you know. Our lives simply diverged as she grew older. You may not know this, but we had different plans for her when she was growing up. I've since come to terms and accepted that she didn't want to follow in her parents' footsteps. Perhaps... Hmm. She needs to hear it from me. I need to make it more clear to her that I'm proud of her, regardless of her choices. I need to, if I want to be closer to my daughter and her new partner. Oh, gosh, really? Uh, we're doing this, are we? Oh, can I? When Sarah was six, I believe, she lost her second tooth, but this time she actually lost it. I forget how it happened exactly, but it ended up going out with the waist as we were flying between Jemison and... Oh, I forget where. It's not important. She was so distraught. Mummy, what if the Tooth Fairy doesn't know I lost a tooth and doesn't come? <laughs> she cried. So I told her to write a note and leave it under her pillow for the Tooth Fairy. So she ended up explaining what had happened and begged the Tooth Fairy for a spaceship so she could go off and find her lost tooth for her. <laughs> it was adorable. Thanks, Mother. Just... Uh, thanks for that. We'll talk later, I suppose. <laughs>